I am not a historian, but neither are you. So, how about we, the people, learn this stuff together? Welcome to US 101. And it's that time of year again, folks. Yes, the time we combine sports with history, jocks with nerddom. Everyone can just come together for, for one special day just to be happy. <laughs> Like I said, guys, it's that time of year again. Time to pretend that you actually give a damn about sports because everybody is freaking out over one of the biggest sports events of the year, the Super Bowl. This time of year, it's, it's such an exciting time to be a football fan, man. A fan of the NFL. The two best teams in the NFL going head-to-head -head for the ultimate prize, the Lombardi Trophy. The whole country is just rocking. It's, just, it's riveted. It's ready to go. It, I, you know what, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not all that excited for this year's Super Bowl, real talk. The, the New England Patriots made it to the Super Bowl, again, big surprise everybody, and, and, and who are they facing? The Los Angeles Rams? Whoop-dee-doo! Look at my face. You can see just how excited I am for this game, right? I think that of all the matchups that could have happened for the Super Bowl, this is the one that people wanted the least. All right? It's a, bore, it's a boring matchup. I mean, if anything, I would have preferred the New Orleans Saints to play the uh, the New England Patriots. That way you had, like, you know, Drew Brees versus Tom Brady or, or Saints versus Chiefs. That would have been a good game. Or, or, or Chicago Bears versus Chiefs. Or Chicago Bears versus Patriots. Or the fact that the Chicago Bears should have been in the Super Bowl this year because they were one of the most dominant teams in the NFL. But if it wasn't for Cody Parkey doinking the ball over the cross... You know what? I said my... I told myself I would not do this. I would not... I would not get angry about the Chicago Bears not making it to the Super Bowl because of the kicker. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Mother Okay, okay, I, I, I got that out of my system, guys. We are, we are all good. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and make vodka out of lemonade, guys. Last year around this time, uh, we did a segment on US 101 called Super History Bowl 1, where I asked you guys to predict who would win the Super Bowl based on the historical significance of the two teams that were playing in the game. Last year was New England, or specifically Boston, versus Philadelphia. This year, Boston is back, and they are now taking on Los Angeles, California. Boston v. LA, which city has more historical significance in the United States? Welcome to Super History Bowl 2. How's it fans? Welcome to Super History Bowl 2, aka The Deuce. My name is Sammy Jerush, and this year, while we've got kind of a meh matchup on the gridiron, the two cities that are taking part in the Super Bowl, Boston and Los Angeles, are so packed with American history, if you tried to stuff all of that into a football, Tom Brady would not be able to throw that ball accurately. Now, before we get to our expert analysis, guys, let's break down these two cities via the tail of the tape. And first off, we are returning once again to Boston, Massachusetts. That's right, the big dig itself is back in the big game now you know the stats by now you've been to the city plenty of times this city has been to the big game a bunch and it's all throughout your history textbooks in this section about colonial america and the revolution founded in 1630 by the puritans it was mostly known as a city with a maritime economy that later became known as the cradle of the revolution notable events included the boston tea party the boston massacre the battle at bunker or breeds hill depending on your preference and notable historic Bostonians include both John and Sam Adams, you've got Abigail Adams, Benjamin Franklin, and a good man named Paul Revere, to name a few. And from the Atlantic Ocean, guys, we now head out west, manifest destiny style, to the Pacific Ocean in California, where they know how to party, and Los Angeles, the city of angels, la la land, if you will. Los Angeles, which started off as a pueblo and was founded all the way back in 1781 by the Spanish settlers Los Pobladores, the city would later fall under Mexican rule until the Mexican-American War, where the United States would claim much of the territory in the southwest from Mexico. Today, it is the second largest city in America and is home to Tinseltown, 
Hollywood, California. All right, the table has been set, and now it's time to serve you up some piping hot, delicious analysis. And first up, we're heading out to the East Coast, to the great state of New Jersey, where Mr. Betts himself, you know him for his history parody videos and his outstanding animated history videos as well, among many other things. He's gonna break down this game and the history just a bit further for you so that you can make your final decision. What do you got for us, kind sir? Welcome back, class. I am Mr. Betts, and US 101 has asked me to give you my picks for the Super Bowl this year. It's the LA Rams versus the New England Patriots, both of them trying to raise that Lombardi trophy. Now, speaking as a New Yorker, the best possible outcome could be if none of them win. I don't know, maybe if like a zombie Sherman comes up and marches to Atlanta and takes them both out. Now, both of the teams are from highly historical areas, Los Angeles and Boston. Yes, I know they're the New England Patriots, but They've always competed around or even in Boston. From 1960 to 1970, they were the Boston Patriots. And that's how I'm gonna approach my pick, franchise geographical history. The Pats, they get Boston. And everybody knows the history that goes along with Boston. You have Boston Massacre, Boston Tea Party. They recruited for the Massachusetts 54th Regiment around Boston. But other than possibly the greatest sitcom of all times, Cheers, Boston, what have you done for me lately? Red Sox fans, shut up. Now the Rams, they personify that manifest destiny, go west young man spirit. They actually start off as the Cleveland Rams and Cleveland, the area around it at least, is part of the original Northwest Territory. Um, it's a boom city when canals and railroads are all the rage, but just like everybody else in Cleveland, the Rams left heading out west to LA. Now you wanna talk about a boom town. LA was another one of these cities that exploded after the gold rush. And over the years, they've seen oranges and oakies and oils, as well as the explosion of the film industry. But then like everybody else that heads out to LA to make it big and ultimately fails, I mean, one Super Bowl, they head back east, this time to St. Louis. Mississippi mound builders, early French explorers, Lewis and Clark start their core of discovery in St. Louis. And sure, Missouri's introduction into the Union resulted in the Missouri Compromise, but that doesn't matter because the Rams, like any movie that was successful 20 years ago, is back in LA and in production and I'm picking them to win. And honestly, you could tell me that the Patriots are up against Hessian soldiers, Barbary pirates, and James Buchanan, and I'm still not picking Tom Brady to win. Hey, if you don't know who I am, I'm Mr. Betts from Mr. Betts Class, where we have fun and informative American history videos. This spring, I'm doing a totally animated initiative. Every couple of weeks, I'm dropping a brand new, completely original animated video. So make sure you check it out. All right, thank you, Mr. Betts. And now, guys, we go from Betts to Beat, specifically Mr. Beat. We're gonna make our way down to the great city of Kansas City, where Mr. Beat is waiting just outside of Arrowhead Stadium, the home of his beloved beloved Kansas City Chiefs to give us his expert analysis as well. Matt, what do you got to say to the people, my friend? Hey, Sammy, I'm Mr. Beat here at Arrowhead Stadium where my Chiefs lost last week and are not going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but anyway, so the Patriots and the Rams, uh, two teams the Chiefs lost to this year, they're in the Super Bowl. So looking at the two cities that they are from, the history of the two cities, Boston, a lot of history there. Los Angeles, not quite as much history, right? Boston is 150 years older than Los Angeles. Boston had the American Revolution. That's really, that was where the heart and soul of the American Revolution was. Los Angeles wasn't even founded until the 1780s and that was by the Spanish, the, this uh, group of families called Los Pobladoras. And you know, they, uh, it, they were just a little village for many decades after that. It wasn't until the 20th century that Los Angeles really gained a lot of population. But here's the deal. I think that Los Angeles is more exciting. It's got a lot going on for it right now. Los Angeles is the future. Boston is the past. So therefore, I predict the Rams will win the Super Bowl this Sunday. Matt, believe me, I understand the pain you're feeling, my friend. This episode should have been Chicago versus Kansas City, but don't worry, we'll be there next year. I 
I really hope. All right, everyone, you've heard the expert analysis, so now it's up to you. Which team do you think is going to win this year's Super Bowl? And you have to make your prediction based solely on which city you think has more historical significance to the United States. Leave your comments down below, get involved in the discussion, and uh, yeah, I'll comment back to you. Why not? Let's have ourselves a chat, you and me. Thank you for hanging out with us for this second annual Super History Bowl, guys. I sincerely appreciate it, and thanks again to my expert commentators, Mr. Betts of Mr. Betts Class and Mr. Beat of Mr. Beat. Uh, they are amazing YouTube channels, and if you've not checked them out, I highly recommend you do so. Their links are located down below in the description box. Click on them, subscribe to their channels. You will not be disappointed. Make sure to follow US 101 guys on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. All those links are also located down below in the description bar. Guys, I will hopefully see you soon for a brand new episode of US 101. Until then, I am all done. Enjoy the big game this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to because Chicago's not in it, all because of Cody Parkey. That kicker needs to go. Let's get rid of him. Bring back Robbie. We know what the mistake is. We've got to get rid of this kicker.